Before you watch the fan cam, guys, just a quick shout out to our sponsors, Omelie. Listen, um, it's the best way to connect. If you're a football fan and you're looking for an app for football fans, Omelie is literally that. Speak with whoever you want. It could be myself, it could be Lewis. All of us are on there and you can have conversations. Kev is on there as well if you want to speak to him. Um, download the app. There's a QR code on screen. There's also a link below. Click it, download Omelie and let me know what you think. Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. My name is Alex. I'm out. I'm inside uh, St James's Park. It's weird fan cams, isn't it? How many how many fan cams do we do when we're still inside the stadium? Uh, I don't know. Not many. None. I don't think, I don't think we've ever done. Well, Newcastle, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, Charlie. Listen, we travelled out. You gave me a call. I didn't call you back. No. And uh, I apologise for that. That was the start of the bad night, mate, wasn't it? That was that was the beginning <laughs> of of things going downhill for Chelsea. Uh, on top of the fact that I couldn't get into the away pub. I mean, they're saying go to this pub, this Weatherspoon's over there. It's full of Newcastle fans. Um, so we ended up just going to a little bar and hanging out, which was nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, I wanted, I, it, was, it was quiet before the game in this bar. There wasn't many Chelsea fans. It was quiet in the away ends for a, a lot of, uh, a large majority of the game, especially considering we have twice the capacity that we would normally have. What do you make of it? It's abysmal tonight, mate. Absolutely dreadful. Worst performance of the season. And for me, this is the first, like, black mark negative on Moresca this season. Just completely took the piss, mate. Disrespected the competition. Like, he, he basically, with that lineup, with the players that he left at home, with the bench that he had, with the amount of subs that he made, he made his intentions very clear. He didn't care about this game. This game was an inconvenience. And, you know, I'm pissed about this because this is... Are you pissed? Yeah. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, mate, we, we haven't won a domestic cup since 2018, and you make 11 changes, and you leave Jackson, Gusto, James, Lavia, Caicedo, Neto, uh, I can't think of any more right now, at home. You don't even bring these guys on the bench. You leave them at home, and... Uh, what, what, what do you expect to happen? You can do it in a conference league against that level of opposition. You can do it against lower league opposition. You cannot do it against a decent level of Premier League opposition. You cannot take the piss like that. And that is exactly what we did today. You know, we just we just waved the white flag. What is the point in making Cole Palmer travel up to Newcastle if you're not going to use him? You weren't going to use him if we were winning. And if you're not going to use him when you're 2-0 down, what was the point of even bringing him? What, why did he come? We used one sub today. What was what was the well, point? We left, we left Rhys James. We left yeah. Lavia. So yeah, we, uh, no, we understand why they're left because they're only going to play once a week because of their injury issues. But for me, mate, this is like obviously the players were dog shit tonight. But this is this is on Moresca as well because that that was unacceptable from him. And the only way that this is remotely okay is if you, if you do this right, you basically throw a cup game essentially. You have to go to Old Trafford on Sunday and you must win. You must. Otherwise. It, otherwise what is the point of any of it I think both teams got what they wanted we wanted we got the three points on the Sunday and this game probably meant more this game definitely meant more to Newcastle than it meant to us but for me mate we've not won a domestic cup since 2018 this is a good opportunity to win a trophy it's quarter finals next and you like potentially your three games from Wembley right and we've just turned up and taken a piss tonight and it's unacceptable in my opinion so we say we say that Maresca made mistakes here. I mean, are we are we saying, listen, this is the manager? Do the players have anything to blame, or is it the fact that, listen, if you're playing with other players who aren't good enough to play for Chelsea's first team, it's very difficult for you to perform to your best ability. Maybe you look at a player like Nkunku or or Jorgensen as an example, two players pushing to start who didn't have great games. No, mate, it's it's a combination. Players were abysmal tonight. Manager got it wrong as well. Completely got it wrong. Mate, what is he thinking about? We used to we used to hammer Pochettino, right, for playing players out of position. You're telling me, right, that in with this Chelsea squad, with the players that we've got, you have to play Kean and Jewsbury Hill right wing. It, what you're saying that Madueke can't can't start two games in the space of three days. You're saying that Neto's got to stay at home. He can't play two games in three days. You're saying that you know whoever else is on the wing, Sancho ill, fine. But do, do, do you know what I mean? Like Jewsbury Hill right wing. What the fuck's that about? Like that, that, that is a big mistake um, leaving, the, leaving that amount of players at home and I think it goes to show the ceiling of what we've got in terms of our sort of second team you can get away with it in, an, in, in a number of games against worse opposition if you're going to do that in the Premier League against Premier League sides particularly good ones like Newcastle you're going to get punished it's as simple as that mate and you know today was awful defensively absolutely shocking 
Jorgensen somehow managed to make Sanchez look half decent, you know. That performance tonight from him was woeful, nervous on the ball, horrendous distribution, playing players into trouble, defensively awful, absolutely awful, De Sassi, shit, Badia Schill, shit, Vega, shit, uh, Tosin, dog shit, Kukurea weren't great either. It was just a complete shambles. If you're going to be constantly changing so many players, it's, going to, it's very difficult to build any sort of continuity, any sort of continuity whatsoever. And like, what are we doing, mate? You know, two goals that were completely avoidable from from our point of view today. And you know, we've shot ourselves in the foot yet again. And this, as I said, worst performance of the season and the first black mark negative against Maresca for for, for this season, mate. It, it wasn't acceptable from him. It was it wasn't acceptable from the players. And quite frankly, it was just a night to forget. Which obviously Maresca and the players just. They could have done without this. They, they, just, they just didn't want it, mate. Simple as that. Did not want it. Like, first five minutes when they hit the post, they carved us open. Mate, we couldn't even... First off, we couldn't even pass the ball. Enzo Fernandez, when it be... Like, his passing one of his strongest thing. Couldn't pick a man out. Vegas passing horrendous. Everyone was awful. And don't talk to me about players like Nkunku and stuff. Like, people... people I'm hearing people saying he should start over Jackson. Are you mad? The disrespect on Nicholas Jackson. Imagine if Jackson, right, had put in a performance like that tonight. The, the, the criticism he'd be getting. Nkunku was absolutely woeful and shows why he does not play for us in the Premier League and why he's not a regular. Not good enough. He has been scoring a lot of goals. I mean, Bro, you can look, talk about yeah, performances. Look, look who he's playing. Look who he's playing. I know you can only score what's in front of you, but come on, what's Nkunku done against a decent team? Nothing. But he hasn't had many chances. Yeah, I guess that's uh, yeah, the argument. Yeah. yeah, why is he not getting the chances? Because he's not good enough and he doesn't offer enough to the team. It's that simple, mate. Now, these are your opportunities tonight. Mariska bangs on about players have got to take opportunities when you get them. You had 90 minutes and did absolutely fuck all. And that's just the bottom line. Yeah, simple as that, mate. I, I don't care what anyone else says. That, for me, is the bottom line with Nkunku. That wasn't good enough tonight. And that, tonight, is why he does not play in the league on a regular basis for us. Mm. Same with Felix as well. Had a few moments here and there. Dreadful. Where he, could have, he could have taken a touch and taken it round the keeper uh, to make it 2-1, potentially. Mate, just those, that sort of stuff is just lack of composure. And you don't expect that from a player who, supposedly, so many people tell me, is, is, is great. Well, I, I'm, I'm yet to see it. I'm yet to see it, mate. So this for me was a really disappointing night. Poor, just poor all round from absolutely everyone. So, so nobody had a good game today. No. Who? 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 I mean, I, I thought Jean Felix was okay. Well, okay, mate. I, mean, I, I thought it was the best of a bad bunch. If you're telling me who's in a good game. I would say the best player was Madueke, and he played about 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah he made a good impact. Yeah. I'm with you there. Yeah, and, and, and that's it. Everyone else was abysmal and done nothing. So when you when you've got a collective level of performance like that, like it, it's no it's no surprise that that we lost. I mean, what real chances did we have? Like clear cut opportunities did we create? Not very many. We, we had chances to score, sure, but they weren't what you'd call like big big chances. They were sort of little things that were fashioned out of nothing and. Like, mate, you know, we need to win trophies. This is a really good opportunity, and I just think we've just completely wasted it. Absolutely wasted it. And, you know, time will tell, FA Cup, if he does the same thing against sort of Premier League opposition and oh, stuff mate. like that, it's, it's, uh, it's unforgivable and, it, and, it, and it's taking a piss. Like, yeah, okay, it's around the 16, people are like, oh, it's only the Carabao Cup. We haven't won a trophy domestically since 2018. I don't want to hear this is only the Carabao Cup. Like, we need to start winning domestic trophies. And if you're just throwing away opportunities like this, like you don't care, then what, what does that mean for the future moving forwards? So, to me, mate, really disappointing night on, on, on all rounds. No one comes away with, with any positives from that. Why so many first-teamers were left at home? You could have at least put some on the bench so that if you're in a situation like that, you can throw them on to make a difference. And he has to hope now that this is worth it and we win on Sunday. Otherwise, you know, it, it's, it's a problem. So, uh, yeah, I'm not happy about it, mate. Not happy at all. Uh, what do you make of Enzo Fernandez's performance? Awful. Yeah, terrible, mate. Um, why, why was it terrible? Passing all over the gaff, um, giving it away constantly, overhitting balls, not really, you know, dictating the, the, the play in the middle of the park. Um, it didn't help that Vega was playing alongside and there was so much space in the midfield. That didn't work at all. And it goes to show, like, the mid we haven't got any midfield depth. You know, Cassidy not good enough. You know, Lavia and Caicedo left at home. Where, where, where's the replacements of, of, of a level? There aren't any, you know? And it comes down to recruitment. There's been some good recruitment, but I think some of the squad building has been really poor. Centre-backs, dreadful. 
can we please, whatever this issue is with Josh Akinpong, just sort it out. He could have played tonight. It would have been better than De Sassi. He's on right the contract. Now. That's all he has to do. But he's on the contract until 2026. Mm. Just let him play. Like, I think the problem is he agreed to sign a deal and I, then pulled I, I, out. I, I don't care what, what he has or hasn't done. He's on the contract until 2026. We're in no rush. He could have played tonight and he would have been better than De Sassi. Yeah. The whole reason we signed Malo Gusto is that so we don't have to use Reese James as much to, to get him back from injury. So we're telling me that Gusto now can't play two games in the space of three or four days. What's, what's, what's going on there? You know, it's decisions like that where we're just wrapping too many players in. Well, are you really telling me that we've got players that cannot play, you know, twice in the space of three days? Yeah, I mean, they did it last season. Well, they didn't. Uh, well, not doing, but you know, they played game after game after yeah, game. That's yeah. my point. We played once a week, though. But like you're telling me, like, what happens if we get in the Champions League? What are we going to have that problem again next season if we get into Champions League? Oh, you know, we can't play our best players because uh, because they they can't play twice in three days. Well, it's bollocks, you know. We, we Mareska got it totally wrong tonight, and it, mate, it was it was unacceptable. And I look, it just it doesn't, it doesn't ruin the season or anything like that. But it's like you can't take the piss against Premier League opposition in cup competitions. It's as simple as that for me. Thank you so much, Charlie. Pleasure. Thank you.